Here we're going to be looking at a capital investment by partners as the basis for allocating or dividing up the profit or losses for the partnership. So let's look at what a partnership agreement should specify. Now, we first it should specify whether the capital balances are to be, de be determined before or after the partner's year-to-date withdrawals or offset against their capital accounts. And number two, whether the capital investment for allocation is to be determined based on the beginning or the end of the accounting period for their capital uh, balances, or whether a weighted average capital for the period should be used. And number three, we'd have to determine the rate of interest or the rate of return here on the invested capital. And then number four, uh, profit or loss ratio. That's how we'd be dividing up the profit or losses for the partnership here between the, the different partners. So the first thing we'll look at here is the allocation based as of the beginning of the period for the capital investment. Now what we mean here by capital investment is the cash and assets that the a partner would have invested in the partnership. So the first thing we have to look at here is uh, each partner's capital account here. And for our example here, we're going to have two partners, partner A and partner B. So let's look at uh, capital account here for partner A. On 11X1, they had a balance in their capital account here of $200,000. And then on 71X1, it was increased here by $20,000. And then on 101X1, there was a reduction here of $60,000 in the capital account. So the balance at the end was $160,000. The beginning balance was $200,000. And then for uh, our capital account here for partner B, we'd go through the same, uh, look at it in the same fashion here. On 11X1, they had $120,000 invested. And then on 41X1, there was a reduction here of $20,000. So there's a balance here of $100,000 at the end of the year here for their uh, partner B's capital account here. So what we're going to be looking at here is uh, the uh, allocation of uh, profits based on the beginning of the period capital account balance. So uh, let's go down here and look at our calculation, how we do that. And again, we set up our little tape table here between partner A and partner B here. And, and we're going to be looking here the interest on the beginning capital amounts here. So looking at uh, partner A here. Now, we have a 10% interest rate here. Now that's based on the specified rate of interest or the rate of return here on the investment that the partners agreed on. In this case, it's $10,000, or 10%, excuse me. And then we take the 10% interest rate here times the beginning of the period or the beginning of the year capital balance here. In this case, for partner A here, it was $200,000. So partner A would be allocated $20,000. Then based on, uh, again, the beginning capital balance here for partner B here, 10% times their beginning balance here of 120000 gives partner B a $12,000 uh, allocation here. So then we go over here and we total those up, 20000 12000 We've got $32,000 allocated here for the year for this partnership, uh, dividing up the profit in this case. So what we have to look at here is what the remainder that has to be allocated. So for our example here, the partnership profit for the year was $40,000. So we've allocated $32,000. So the difference between $40,000 and $32,000 gives us $8,000 more to allocate. So let's go over here and look at how we do that here. So this is the balance here uh, that we have to allocate, and that's $8,000. And we ha this is where the profit and loss ratio comes in. And for this example, they're just using a 50-50% split here. F each um, partner gets half of the profit in this case. So uh, based on that, we have $8,000 here to divide up. Partner A would get 50% or 4,000. Partner B gets 50% or 4,000 in this case. So the total amount here allocated that was remaining was 8,000. We've done that. So adding the 32,000 and 8,000, we have our total allocation here of $40,000. Now, uh, this table that we went through here, that was uh, in, uh, based on the interest or the capital uh, interest in the partnership as of the beginning of the uh, period here. In this case, it was 11x1 date. 
Okay, now let's look at our profit allocation based at the end of the period here for our capital investment. Again, we have the same example as uh, we had for the beginning of the period here, capital account here for partner A and partner B, same numbers here. But what we're going to be looking at here is that ending balance. In this case, partner A had an ending balance of 160000 Partner B had an ending balance of $100,000 in their capital accounts. So let's look at our uh, a table here for partner A and for partner B here. So the invest interest here at the ending uh, balance for their capital account here. So again, we had our 10% interest rate. Uh, uh, partner A had 160,000 ending balance, gives them 16,000 here, 10% uh, times that. And then partner B again had $100,000 ending balance, 10% times that gives them $10,000. So we've allocated 16,000 to partner A, a 10,000 to partner B for a total allocation here of $26,000 for the year. Now, again, our partnership profit was $40,000 for the year. So taking the difference here, 40,000 less the 26,000 allocated gives us $14,000 more to allocate here. So let's go back to our uh, balance here that we have to allocate. And again, we're using the same profit and loss ratio, 50-50% here. So partner A would get uh, 7,000 of the 14,000 or 50% of that, and partner B would get $7,000 as well. So uh, total amount here, uh, was the remaining amount that we had to allocate was $14,000, and we've done that here by using that ratio of 50-50%. So 26000 allocated plus the 14000 additional allocated gives us $40,000 that was allocated for the period here. So uh, our allocation of profit, partner A would have received in this case 23000 total, and partner B would have gotten 17000 total for the total profit for the year here of $40,000. And then again, this was uh, the interest based on the ending capital balance in their capital accounts. Okay, now let's look at an allocation here based on the weighted average capital investment here. So we're going to be using the same examples here for the capital accounts for partner A and for partner B here. So what we have to do in this case is we have to look at uh, what amount of capital we carried here at, for each period. And we're looking here at 11x1, $200,000 invested, and then on 71x1, an estral 20,000 was invested. So uh, we had for six months here, we had a $200,000 investment. And then on 7-1, it was increased here to $220,000. And then we have to look at our next date here where it changed. And that was 10-1-X-1. It was reduced here by $60,000. So from 7-1-X-1 until 10-1-X-1, which was three months here, we had an investment here of $220,000. And then from 10-1 until the end of the year here that was reduced here the 220 was reduced by 60,000 so we would have had an investment here of hundred sixty thousand dollars for the last three months so let's look at how we calculate our weighted average capital here so the amount invested here 200,000 for six this is for partner a again two hundred thousand dollars for six months takes that times uh, 200,000 times six months gives us one million two hundred thousand dollars for that period and then we we had 220,000 here invested for three months, gives us 660,000 for that period, and then 160,000 for three months gives us 480,000 invested for that period. So what we do is we add up these uh, weighted averages for the months that we've calculated here, and then we have our total months here of 12 months, total weighted average, our total average that we had here. Uh, cumulative amount here of $2,340,000. So for our weighted average, we take that $2,340,000 divided by 12 months, and that gives us $195,000. So that's the weighted average for the year here of the capital uh, for partner A, $195,000. Now for our capital, our partner B, we would go through the same mechanics here. $120,000 in this case for three months gives us $360,000, and then we had 100000 for nine months, 900000 total amount, $1,260,000. Divide that by a total of 12 months gives us a weighted average here of 105000 for partner B. So then we move down to our investment here our, on uh, the interest here, and using the weighted average account here, again, partner, 
partner A, partner B, 10% times the partner A's weighted average here, uh, 195,000 gives us 19,500. 10% times partner B's weighted average here of 105,000 gives us 10,500. Totaling those two amounts, we get $30,000 allocated here uh, for the based on this weighted average amount here. So the difference between the 40,000 profit uh, for the year less 30,000 we've already allocated gives us 10,000 here to allocate. So again we go back to our ratio here and it was split 50-50. So each would give 5,000 of the 10,000 here and that would give us uh, a total amount here of uh, 30,000 that was allocated plus the 10,000 here that was uh, divided up here between the profit and loss ratios for $40,000 here. Uh, the profit that was allocated. And in this case, 24,500 went to partner B and 15,500 went to, or to partner B here and 24,500 went to partner A.